Autonomous driving is one key application that we are addressing at my institute. Today in a modern car there's an integration of a lot of sensors. We can generate a 3D model of the surrounding world. The challenges that we have to address in designing processor architectures for autonomous driving cars is that we have to understand the complex video, radar and leader processing algorithms. We are using Tensilica cores, Tensilica accelerators in order to implement our vision-based algorithms. So uh, in this sense the Cadence Tensilica tools are very helpful for autonomous driving. In hardware we are using Cadence Proteum technology in order to FPGA-based emulation of the architectures that we want to design, where we are implementing the algorithms and architectures that we designed in hardware inside the car so that we can go to the street and demonstrate really that our system is robustly working. And I think it's a worthful vision to have a car which can support, for example, handicapped people and uh, provide them the opportunity to drive again, even if they're handicapped, because the car is so intelligent and it's so stable and robust that you can really go from point A to point B with this autonomous driving car. My institute, the Institute of Microelectronic Systems, is part of the Cadence University program and I like this very much because um, on the occasions of the meetings I have the possibility to interact, to communicate, to exchange uh, visions with the other partners of the university program and I think it's a very helpful tool in order to get new ideas in the scientific world so I like the Cadence University program. Yeah.